All right, guys, Jesse here with Six Speed Media today, and today we're going to be rebuilding a 3G alternator. This is going to be an upgrade for my 77 F-150. And to get started, I've already took impact with a, uh, let's see what size it is, 15 16 socket. Pulled the nut off from a pulley. Pulley just slides off. Yours may not slip off so easy. I got lucky with this one. Uh, but I've got my pulley off. I'm going to go ahead and flip over. I'll show y'all what I got here. I've got my regulator. Replace my regulator. Got my new brushes. I have a new uh, insulator from a terminal. That's going to look nice. Make it look like a new one. I've got the front bearing and my rear bearing. And I've got a couple extra screws. Not exactly sure where these go yet. A little bit of dielectric grease and a little cover that replaces right there. So, let's get right into it. I've got that little cover. I'm going to go ahead and... You're actually going to need a T20 for most of these. But, I'm going to go ahead and get this regulator out of the way. And keep in mind, these are different length screws. Remember where they come from. I'm going to just kind of push them into the cardboard so I know how they come out. This will probably, uh, yeah, I see how this is. This is bolted to the brushes. So your brushes will bolt right to this. So I, what I'll probably actually do is I'll probably go ahead and bolt this on and drop it in all as one assembly. So I'm going to set that there. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. They're my brushes. They, they're not wore completely out. You can tell this one is wore far more than this one because the hole is actually going on it. But as far as just being wore completely out, they're not. Now just to show y'all how much wear, I went ahead and pulled my pen out. This one is bored down to the hole. Well, just to show y'all, like again, this one's bored down to the hole, but you can see how much material is wore off the brush. That right there is what causes your alternators to go out most of the time, is the brushes get worn out, and there's nothing left to uh, run against your copper in there. But, if we can look in here, let's get it closer, but if you can see in there, let's see if I can angle it where y'all can see, you have that copper in there. This in here is where your brushes are going to ride. Your brushes are ride against that, and neither one of mine look too crazy. Which I didn't order this piece anyways. I don't plan on replacing mine. I'm just going to run it. If I end up having to rebuild this later on down the road. That's no problem. I'm uh, it's I'm using it as a learning experience here. So. It won't bother me a bit. But I'm going to go ahead and get this cover right here. Pulled off. And these are. I've got a standard kit. I bet you it's metric. Oh no, it is a 5 16 socket. So, I'm going to go ahead with this 5 16 socket and I'm going to knock these off here. This should come right off, maybe. I may have to take the hammer here and persuade it. Which, oh, well, that's kind of surprising that that is already broke loose because usually your back cover will come off first and you have to force it out of there. So it's kind of surprising that that is already coming out. So I'll actually go ahead and work that off. And that's going to come apart just like that. Now, 
I just gave this a little tap there and it's riff is freed itself. Go in here, I'm just gonna clean all this up. Um and uh this piece should be good to go. I shouldn't have to do nothing with this. Uh, as for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out. That's trash. And I'm gonna leave this cover here, clean this up, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this painted. But as you can see, this actually stayed inside. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to very carefully thread my nut on here and just give it a little wove tap so I can free it from that front bearing. Alright guys, I'm back. I got that bearing knocked off. All it is is hold this in the vise and knock it off. It's no big deal. Oh, I don't know if that's the right way or the wrong way, but that's what I've done. Now... Go ahead and get this bearing out so I can get this case cleaned up and get this painted as well. These are, uh, hold on a second, uh, I'll tell you in a second. They're also a 5 16 Apparently these are bad for breaking. I don't know yet, I'm about to find out. If they break, they break. I'll just uh, work around it. That one seemed to back out like butter so if that's the case with all of them then we'll be good so I got lucky all mine backed out I got that one and this one it's off there my retainer plate Come right off. Get this hose out of my way. This is a inch and a sixteenth socket. I'm just going to use this. Knock this out. Knock some bearing out. Now, I want to get one that is more appropriate to knock the new one in. I'm just knocking the old one out. Get it out of my way for now. So that's trash. So, I'm going to get this cleaned up, and get this cleaned up, get these painted, and I'll be back. Alright guys, sorry for the air compressor in the background, but just give y'all a quick look. This is what it looks like after I've got it cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and get some paint thrown on these, and I'll show y'all what the final product looks like. Alright guys, so I've got my bearing installed on the end here. All I did was take a little socket and tap this on, and then I took a, met a piece of wood, not a piece of metal, and uh, set it on the back, and I tapped it down till it was flush, which is exactly how it was stopped. So once I get that done, or I've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of emery cloth, which is... Uh, I'm using this Forney brand. I like Forney. They make some pretty good stuff. But I'm just going to use a little piece of this. And I'm just going to clean this surface right here. Just so the bearing will go in a little easier. Into the front cover. Because as of right now. It's pretty tight. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy on it. But I'm cleaning it up a little bit. And uh get it where it just slide on real nice that clean the corrosion off get it all nice and shiny and now this bearing ought to slide down all the way nice and easy no resistance so now i'm going to try and find a socket that'll fit this outer ring because uh you don't want to hammer on this seal or this inner ring because it could damage the bearing. As you can see, that is way too small. This one right here is pretty close. I'm sitting just on that ring, 
I'm gonna try and find one just a little bigger. If not, what you can do is you can actually take a uh, you can take an extension or something and stick on this outer edge and just tap it in. You want to push it in just as straight as you can because if not, you could damage it. All right, guys. So I've got the case all back together now. And I can give it a good spin. Makes no noise. Everything sounds smooth. Well, there's no noise. It, of course, it sounds smooth. But now, all that's left to do, since I didn't replace that other piece, is, well, one. That's not 100% flush, but I didn't even look at that. All I gotta do, I've got this bolted together already. I pull, put my bolts in here, put my little covers here. All I have to do now is just drop this in. Get my four wheel bolts here. Set in place. All right, now that you've got your regulator and brush assembly installed, all you have to do is take this pin, which you may need to take a pair of needle nose or something and grab this pin. Ignore my pliers. These are what I got. But you hear the click. And the brushes are now in place. I can give this a nice spin. And now I can hear the brushes are in place. I can hear them contacting. And as far as that goes, that's basically it for a down and dirty rebuild to get a 130 amp baldinator for less than 50 bucks almost half of what it would cost you to buy one brand new i believe that is a good deal in my book so hope y'all enjoyed the video give a like subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one when i install this i'm not installing a pulley on this video if you need to all you have to do is drop your old one back on if you're keeping your serpentine set up and, and reinstall your bolt where, or nut, wherever I left mine, mine's somewhere. But I'm actually putting a V-belt on here. So other than that, any questions or comments, please leave a like uh, or leave a comment in the description below. Like and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all take it easy.